guys, this is Bill from BMR Productions, and tonight we're going to be doing a quick review tutorial on how to hook up your new T-Mobile MyTouch 3G to a desktop or laptop PC. Alright, we're going to get started right away. First things first, you're going to use your cable that came with your uh, new phone. And if you haven't found it out or not, this part right here that goes into the wall comes off. And now you have a data cable. Okay, so real quick word of caution. This may, to the untrained eye, look like a standard USB drive where you can plug into anything else that you might have a USB drive for. That is not the case. Here I have another USB drive that is a standard drive. And if you check it out, we're going to do a quick comparison of these two. The one on the right is going to be the standard. The one on the left is one that comes with our uh, My Touch. As you can see, there, there is a difference. The one on the right is more square. Looks like it doesn't have all the things inside of it that the My Touch one does. And, I mean, obviously, they don't fit. I don't know if you guys ever played the block and shape game as a kid, but you can't hammer a square uh, block into a round hole. It just doesn't work. So we're going to get rid of this one. Don't use that kind. So first things first, we're going to take the small end, and we're going to connect it to our My Touch. Get in the hole. All right. All right, so now we're going to take this guy. We're going to plug it in to the computer. And you heard a sound. All right, that's good. That's the first step of knowing you're doing it right. Now we're gonna look at the phone, okay? And you can see that it is it is connected. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our start. We're gonna go to computer, and it's gonna bring up all my operations on my computer. Now as you can see, I have it in my my F drive. So I'm gonna click on it, and likely expected, nothing is gonna happen. The reason being is that the SD card is not mounted to the computer. So, in order to do that, we're going to go back to the phone, we're going to wake it up, put the password in. Now we're going to go to our notification bar, we're going to pull it down, oops, maybe not. Alright, now we're going to see an option that says USB connected, select the copy files to and from your computer. We're going to click on that guy, and now we're going to get this warning right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to click mount. Now it's mounted, so now that's going to now enable us to see all the files on our our um, SD card. So here you go. This is a, your basic. Um, all these are all the files for your phone. Um, these are all on your thumb drive. Okay, keep that in mind. They're all on our thumb drive. So basically, that's how we're gonna do it. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do in a few other videos, I'm gonna go into putting ringtones and and wallpapers on our phones. So that we'll say that for another video. We're gonna keep this one real short and quick. Now we're gonna close it to get. Once we're done with doing all of our tasks, we're gonna close the window. We're gonna go back to the phone. We're gonna wake it up again. Put the pa oop, put the pass whoop, put the password in. We're gonna open the notification tray, and we're gonna click turn off USB storage. And now we're gonna click turn off. You can hear a sound confirming that it has been. You're gonna see it's gonna say uh, preparing card, USB connected. Once it says preparing card, you can unplug, and there you go. Alrighty, well I hope that helped whoever was needing help getting their, their phone connected to their computer. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a text or video response and we'll help you out. Alrighty, have a good one.